So we've made radical improvements to the design of Optimus um, while increasing the functionality but making it actually possible to manufacture. Tesla Bot Optimus is proud to be one of the most advanced and flexible humanoid robots in the world. The all-new Gen 3 version continues to be upgraded for smoother movement and more precise operations getting ready for mass production next year. Honestly, Optimus used to be considered one of Tesla's craziest and least feasible projects, mainly because the company's expertise is in electric cars, something completely unrelated to robots. More importantly, Optimus has only appeared in internal demonstrations, even though it was introduced nearly three years ago. There are many reasons behind this, but now the mass production line is complete and anyone, not just research organizations or large factories, will be able to order a Tesla bot next year. The new Optimus Gen 3 will also have a lower price thanks to several improvements Elon Musk has revealed. It's an incredibly difficult thing, especially it's difficult to create a, um, a hand that is as dexterous and capable as the human hand, which is an incredible, the human hand is an incredible thing. In order to make it cost like you know, ten or $20,000. Notably, Optimus hands, which were once only flexible enough to grip basic objects, have now been refined to almost perfectly replicate the mechanical structure and movement of a human hand. Now, it can skillfully hold a pen, chop vegetables, or even tie shoelaces like a real person. Sounds like science fiction, right? But the new production line at Tesla's most advanced factory is making it a reality. In the end, Tesla will have the capability to produce tens of millions of Optimus bots each year. So, how exactly do the new hands of the Tesla bot Gen 3 resemble human hands? And how does Tesla make sure they're both functionally efficient and cost-effective? From day one, Tesla made it clear that Optimus isn't just another robot. It's a breakthrough toward a future where machines can take on everyday human tasks. That's why Tesla's design team led by Milan Kovac, director of engineering for Tesla Optimus, drew inspiration from the human body itself, especially the hands, symbols of precision and creativity. Now with the latest upgrades, Optimus is closer than ever to the boundary between machine and biology. Its hands feature design, movement, and tactile feedback that closely mimic those of real human hands. Of course, not everyone is convinced by the idea of a robot with human-like hands. Some people find it a bit unsettling, and that's perfectly okay. If you're one of them, drop a one in the comments and tell us what you think. We actually read every single comment. Now, let's take a closer look at the most important upgrades, especially the new tactile technology and microcontrol system that Tesla has been quietly developing for Optimus Gen 3 and the next generations like Gen 4 and Gen 5. According to the Master Plan Part 3, the Optimus Gen 2 will feature a new mechatronic system powered by advanced material artificial actuators that can stretch and respond twice as fast as those in the first generation. These artificial muscles not only enable smoother movements, but also replicate the grip force, curvature, and flexibility of human fingers. Tesla engineers revealed that the new Optimus can pick up an egg without cracking it and hold a hot cup of coffee without spilling, something almost impossible for most humanoid robots today. By the time we reach Genesis 3, Optimus tactile sensing technology has been completely overhauled. Each fingertip now contains hundreds of tiny pressure sensors that act like artificial nerve cells, sending real-time feedback to a central processing unit located in the robot's chest. This combination allows Optimus not only to see the world through its cameras, but also to feel it with its hands. A major step closer to achieving truly human-like dexterity. And to help you see and believe it for yourself, Tesla showcased the bot live at the University of Pennsylvania, where students got to witness its performance on stage. In the auditorium, Optimus slowly raised its hand. A series of ultra-small servo mechanisms activated in perfect sync, 
and the finger joints move so smoothly and naturally that the audience could hardly believe it was a machine. Each finger could bend, extend, tilt, and rotate, accurately simulating the 27 degrees of freedom of a human hand. Even though the system actually uses only 22 control axes, the robot tilted its wrist, the thumb rotated into an opposing position, and the three middle fingers curved naturally into a pen-holding posture. The pen was lifted, the tip touched the paper. Each stroke was smooth and steady. No shaking, no breaks. When it finished writing, the robot released the pen with a motion as gentle as a breath. The hand opened and the thumb and index finger separated with delicate precision, guided by hundreds of tactile feedback signals. When Optimus raised his hand toward the audience, the fingers curled one by one, the thumb extended, then bent upward to form a thumbs up. The gesture was firm yet graceful, drawing laughter from the crowd. Moments later, the robot rotated its wrist and raised two fingers in a peace sign, sparking cheers throughout the auditorium. Still, the Tesla bot Optimus might have been even more impressive if it had moved around the hall and interacted directly with people, like serving popcorn at the Tesla diner instead of standing still in a separate display area. Back to Tesla, we can probably assume that the newly updated Optimus Gen 3 will cost more than the first generation model. And honestly, that makes perfect sense given the scale of upgrades on the table. Every major technological leap comes with a price. With the integration of autonomous AI systems, new tactile sensing hand mechanisms, and ultralight biomimetic materials, production costs are bound to rise. That said, Tesla has already proven its ability to cut costs through large-scale manufacturing and assembly line optimization, just like with the Model 3 and Model Y, where prices initially went up after upgrades, but gradually dropped as production matured. The same scenario could play out for Optimus. Expect a slightly higher starting price to reflect the breakthrough technology, followed by steady reductions as Tesla moves into mass production of humanoid robots. And frankly, that potential price jump is completely justified. Optimus Gen 3 isn't just a hardware upgrade. It's an evolutionary leap in physical interaction. Its new hands feature 42 independently controlled joints, allowing the robot to grip, twist, and sense force almost like a real human. Thanks to built-in tactile neural networks, Optimus can feel temperature, pressure, and surface texture. Sensations that until now only humans could instinctively respond to.